Vacuum chucks are perfect for large, thin parts that just can't be held in a vise. But what if you have parts that are odd shaped or have through features where the grid pattern just isn't working out? Well, a customizable top plate is the solution. Let's take a close look at this accessory to see how it works. Our top plates are sized to match the appropriate size base. They're made from cast aluminum tooling plate and come in a standard thickness of 3 8 of an inch. Now, they're pocketed on the bottom, and I'll show you why in a minute. Now, every SmartVac base includes our precision shoulder bolts that registers the top plate into position and also holds it down when the vacuum is off. Let's get a closer look at how to use them. The first thing to do is add gasket material to the outer groove in the chuck. Now let's bolt down the top plate. At this point, let's turn on the vacuum power unit to double check our connections. We should see the vacuum indicator button go fully flush. At this point, we're ready to customize it. Now I made another video that shows how to design a top plate in greater depth, and I'll put that link in the video description. But for now, let's get cutting. Now with the VPU on, the first thing you'll want to do is cut your gasket groove, preferably with one of our gasket slotting end mills for our eighth inch gasket. The end mill cuts the groove in one pass at full depth and also puts that important chamfer at the top. Next, we'll pause the program and turn off the vacuum and then drill a .1495 inch diameter hole through the top plate anywhere within this gasket pattern. Now we do this so if you make a mistake, you can just roll tap the hole and thread in a 1024 set screw to plug it. Now, you remember those pockets I mentioned earlier? Well, all we need to do is position our through hole so it breaks into any one of them. If it does, it'll pull vacuum from any open port in the base. Now at this point, I recommend taking the top plate off to clear off any chips that may have gotten into the grooves of the base. I like to blow chips and coolant away from the open port, but wait, make sure you're not blowing air directly into the chuck, which could damage some internal components. Blowing air across them is fine. Okay, so which vacuum port do you open? Any one of them, and just one of them. It has no effect whether you have one or all nine of them open. This reduces the chances of chips getting into the base. So that's it. The top plate looks good and we've isolated any areas that break through the part. Now for the second operation, we used pins to locate off of a couple holes in the part so we can use this top plate for both operations. Well, that's it. Customizable top plates are available for purchase 24 seven at pearsonworkholding.com. And like always, Go innovate your production.